Welcome to my fish room. Uh, you can follow us? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's say you get dissolved organics in there and your water starts looking a little brownish. Oh. Carbon will take that out. I understand. So, but other than that, carbon is good, right? So, take uh, a lot of good stuff out, right? You say it takes good out. stuff out, though, too. So, basically, if you're doing your water changes, you'll never use carbon. Mm -hmm. The only reason I use carbon at my store is if I want to get the uh, activated copper out. Mm -hmm. Well, copper. Uh -huh. It's not actually. Yeah, I was a little confused. confused yeah. <laughs> and then this is just for mechanical filtration to collect the particulate matter and stuff. Uh -huh. And then we'll change on a regular basis. But, uh, we don't have a lot of biological activity in here. Because yeah. if you perform most of your filtration in the uh, live rock, uh -huh. you don't end up with as high in nitrates. Well, so the, 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 the bed filter, right, um, how call, uh, the undergravel filter, together with the life rock, that will do a lot, of, that's do the whole thing. This is an extra punch, right? Yeah. That's good, but that is, a, that is a good thing, too, right? We're using this because you have it. Okay. If you didn't have it, that's we wouldn't it sell you one. Okay. But you have it, so you might as well use it to move water. Exactly, right. But, but, but uh, by, by having this, uh, it should get, get some benefit, right? Extra it takes uh, particulate matter out. That's its benefit. Oh. Okay, like all the little tiny floating chunks. Okay. It takes it out so that it doesn't clog up your gravel as fast. Okay, when you're putting this filter back together, you always look for that. Mm -hmm. That piece goes in there. Oh, if you try to put it in wrong, you can't get the lid on. Okay. So you shut it down. Cool that was. Were you Put impressed? The lid on a canister filter. But it was cool. Did you see how this just went click click? I'd clap, but. <laughs> Can't wait for some fish. Okay, this goes on top of there. What do you mean you can't wait for some fish? You're impatient with my son. He wants a car so bad. The other day he's there saying, Well, Dad, I really hate that vehicle, but this is the only one I can get. I'll take it. <laughs> What's this for? This isn't for the protein skimmer, is it? It is. It fits it in it. It's from there. Yeah, I know, but then how do you get the lid on? I don't know. But I, I, I guess when we put this, we don't put this. No. That's what I figured. Well, the lid has to go I on. I don't remember. Like, when I, I don't this know. goes down inside it. Uh, does it make much of a difference? No, it doesn't go. I don't know. You ain't got no air going through your protein skimmer. Your, like your protein skimmer ain't doing nothing right now. No. Well, there's no air going in it. Okay. A protein skimmer is a foam oh, no, fractionation before. device. Yeah, I've always worked before. Okay. So what happens here? Water gets sucked in, mixed with air. Protein. One end has an affinity for air. Mm -hmm. The other end has an affinity for water. Okay. So it sticks to the surface of a bubble. So then the bubble rises up in here. Basically, we've got to dump all this water out because it's just water. So what you want to do is get a nice cloud of bubbles up here at the top. Okay. Oh. So these, you got to play with them and adjust them a little bit. So you adjust it by turning this oh. open or closed. Okay. <laughs> and this will take a day or two to work in. When you first set them up, the bubbles come up here too big, but you don't want to do like that because then no water is going through it because it's sucking in all air. Mm -hmm. Okay. But see how it's starting to come up there? The bubbles are staying small. Oh yeah, that's the Now, you don't part. really have any protein in the water, so nothing much is going to happen today. But say we put some Melifix in, which is an oil-based product, mm -hmm. foam up to here. Okay. Oh. So, we're just going to adjust this a little slower. Okay, there's about good. See how you have that nice, the like, whole surface is yeah. bubbling? Yes. Okay. So then this, and then this. So that way the foam hits here, falls down into here, collects into the chamber, and then you take it away. Okay. Okay? Okay. But make sure you don't leave this hanging down there. Why? Because if the pump goes off, this could siphon water out of it and drain your tank.
So leave it up here. Yeah. That way that can't happen. Oh, okay. I got to get the But... Because uh, I, I never took this from inside. All those was up from the out, from the top. This thing, I remember that part. Are you sure it came sure with it? it? Because uh, uh, I never put apart this thing. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we want to leave this thing away for a few years. I'm sure this is from the top part. Because everything's uh, hooked up properly there. Okay, unplug this filter. Unplug the filter? Yeah. All right. It's this part. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You turn it on, then you unplug it. All right. You turn it on again. Okay. So, to get it started, we gotta this is one way. You tilt it till the airlock's gone, and then you get it running, and you slowly stand it up. And you can hear it. It's not a trick, yeah? Is the water coming out of it? No. Yeah, there's water. No, I'm right. Okay, do you want to unplug it again? No. Oh. Okay, now plug it in. What'd you do? No, no I just gave you more. Good thing off. Give me a uh, paper towel. Yeah. Okay, unplug the filter. Okay. Give me another paper towel. Yeah, give us a Always makes the water get off the hardwood floor. No, no, I'll go clean this lid in any ways. Yeah, most of the time. You gotta be careful that you don't take the connector out. Is that what you just did? Okay. That was good, right? Plug her in. This is getting the air out of it. Okay. Oh yeah. So yeah. see now that you got it going? Yeah. See Aaron show them the uh, little pumper thingy? See this thing there? You just pump that up and down, that gets her primed. Okay. So now that's blowing the air out. Once it gets primed, it can blow air out with the water. And we'll just make sure back here is dry. When we're done? We're done! Oh. See, I don't know if this is even with this. Yeah, it, it, it is. is. It is? It is. I don't... I'm going to have to look... Um, in the yeah, but it doesn't fit inside. No, it's, you know, as far as I can remember, something like that, you know what I mean? And then uh, we could do that. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense. I do. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Well, maybe I, uh, I, I, I connected wrong the first place a long time ago. Yeah, but, okay. In this thing, this looks like something that went on to a pipe. Okay? Yeah. But, see, this here and this here are the same diameter. Exactly. And yet, this won't fit inside there. Push sure. It's not like that. that I know. Okay. Now, if it sits like that, the only benefit is if you're producing a lot of foam, you got a lot of place for the water to, like, for the air to leave. Yes. But they work. It's fine that way, too. Okay. Yeah, if it comes out, you can see that space. It comes up, yeah. and then that hits it's it and makes it drive down. Okay. Uh -huh. But always have this hole out this way because sometimes if this gets really full, foam will come out of here. And if it's back there, it'll be touching the wall. Yeah, I understand. And then it makes the wall look really gross. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stop the video soon. Okay. So that's basically how you set up a tank where you've got a canister filter. You take the stuff out of it, and then you put blowers 
and it's basically a fish only with live rock. F O W L R T. Bye bye. Hello, my son. Did you just take a picture of the tank because you forgot to turn the video on? Okay, we're back at Morrow's tank. Uh, this is another week later. As you can tell, he's starting to get some uh, diatom algae on the rocks. Okay. So what we did for him today, we brought him some live rotifers, and uh, we put them in the tank. Then we uh, are going to be... Uh, we left him some phytoplankton. So he's going to put a teaspoon, two teaspoons a day in there. And that way the live rotifers are going to eat the phytoplankton, plus they're going to eat the bacteria, plus they're going to eat the algae spores for the diatom algae. Okay, so we floated these bags. That's the one that the clownfish was in that's in there already. Then we got this clownfish. This one's a cinnamon. Yes. Do they pair up? Um, they're probably young enough that they will. See, they all start out as kind of androgynous, and then as they get older, uh, the bigger one's the female, the smaller one's the male. We're gonna have to add water to this because we took water out to uh, acclimate it. And then we got this sailfin lawnmower blenny. These are funny. They perch on things. They're Kind of territorial, they'll chase your hand, but they also eat hair out there. See, if I had a net... They're in the van. He doesn't need it anymore. Yeah, well, they're all in the tank now. But these guys got quite the personality, and they got eyelashes. I think that's so cool. Fish with eyelashes. So this, how long have you had this tank set up? Um, uh, at least three weeks, I guess. At least three weeks. Two weeks. Uh, last week you came here, so I, I was had here last week. I, I was here the week before. Yeah, so maybe a month. Yeah, so we're at a month and a bit. A month and a bit. Yeah, because we've been here twice, right? Yeah, we've been here twice. No, no, actually. You Today's the third. Actually, uh, actually uh, we just put the phone, and then you came last week, and then it was your first time. Last week was the first? Yes. Because you just spoke uh, on the phone quite a bit. Yeah. yeah I thought it came one. When you, when you came, and then when you came, already oh, was everything that I needed. Was the rocks? So I brought the oh, rocks. That was the second time. No, that was the second oh, time. Because oh, okay. I came to look at the tank. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. And yeah, then no, sorry. I came with the rocks and the blowers. Exactly, exactly. And then this time. You're so right, you're right. This so is three so weeks, and you had time. it for two weeks before that? Maybe a little bit longer. Maybe two Maybe a month longer? Okay, so we're basically at a month and three weeks. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> in tight. Right, son? Nice, yeah. He's communicating. Do you have to put a passcode in every time? Mm -hmm. Why? So that I can't read your, your uh, friend's texts? I don't care if you read them. They're boring. I don't like to read them. See, this is my ever so exciting young man. See, you had a theory this morning that Dad's a control freak, but when we get right down to it, it turns out the only person I control is him. And as the saying goes, I'm not a control freak. That's just parenting. <coughs> He's going to Niagara Falls today for a wild party weekend. Not much of a control freak, eh, Dad? Okay. So anyhow, uh, we got some bubbles blowing around in here because the water level is a little low. Yeah. But uh, the main filtration of this is a canister filter. Yeah. And it's got uh, no carbon or anything, and it. it's just got uh, predictive this, mostly mechanical filtration. And then we'll clean that out. Uh, then we got the two uh, blowers, and he's got a protein skimmer. So, anyhow, this is the continuing uh, series setting up the new 90-gallon saltwater tank. Okay, say bye. 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 bye.